charges against the Queen for BP's outrageous behavior notice of Liz Pendant's international maritime execution June 15, 2010 The United States of America, 1781, as found at 1776. C slash O trustees for formerly abandoned Republic Nation Charles C. Miller, Dean Arlo, Arp, Percy C. Helmer, Joseph Edward, Casey, James, Tucker Bay, Randall Lynn, Harper 1402 Auburn Way and number 416, Auburn, Washington 98002 USA 2, Her Majesty's Treasury, the Root Honorable George Osborne MP, 21W1, HM Treasury, 1 Horse Guards Road, London SW1A, 2 HQ Ref, British Petroleum Re, Notice of Liz Pendant's International Maritime Execution Trustees, Charles C. Miller, Dean Arlo, Arp, Joseph Edward, Casey, Jr., Percy C., Helmer, James, Tucker Bay, Randall Lynn, Harper, for the formerly abandoned Republic the United States of America, speaking for all the one people. Sovereign in our own right as recognized by the Crown's prior obligations now present facts, truth, and claims for acceptance or protest before the entire world. Our presentments here constitute international notice to be made public under human rights and humanity's right to protect its collective self against trespass and theft by acts and omissions cognizable under international law and international agreements enforceable by consent of parties bound thereto. Honor to promises made is the only credibility any governing body requires or holds in order to be accepted as authority. The United States Federal Corporation has abandoned its obligations to those who ultimately authorized its original construction, now administered by a mere commercial entity for profit in which the Crown holds interest. This abandonment of fiduciary and legal obligations voids authority for the Federal Corporation, the United States, to affect any American. Therefore, we the trustees, having claimed the abandoned obligations to the good people of America, have also accepted the obligation to speak for the one people for the protection of our soil, our republican governmental form, and our physical health and welfare. We do this within international authorities regarding abandoned property and salvage rights known to be obligations requiring recognition by the British Crown and other international participants. Facts The British Crown is franchisor of all corporate entities operating under or out of Britain and the Commonwealth. Legal title to said corporations is held by the Crown with equity operating position of corporations held by agents under corporate charter whose management and stockholders are subject to Crown authorities. Thereby all acts or omissions of said corporations are attached to the Crown through license and provably so by taxes collected on operation of said corporations. The Crown holds ownership position in British Petroleum in conjunction with partners through interlocking directorates, disclosed and undisclosed. The Crown has received benefit from multiple sources related to operations worldwide of British Petroleum, its sub-corporations, partners, agents, assigns, or franchised operations. British Petroleum's acts and omissions have resulted in chemical and biological toxins being released into waters affecting the American people and the world's people and nations. British Petroleum's failure to act to prevent toxins, poisons, benzene in particular, results in crimes of international consequence. 1. Crimes against humanity, ah, uh, inhumane acts of character to intentionally or negligently cause great suffering, serious injury to body, to mental and physical health, and b. Persecution against the American people, a political body, said persecution universally recognized as impermissible under national and international law, and c. Odious offense of serious attack on quality of human dignity, with grave humiliation and degradation of massive numbers of American sovereigns our culture and commercial freedoms to contract or not contract. d. Atrocities widespread by uncontrolled poisons tolerated by de facto corporate authority, rising to inhumane acts believed to be a widespread and systemic practice, a pattern of inhumanity. e. Systemic attack directed against a civilian population in furtherance of corporate policy and profit-taking, with disregard for the consequences to human, animal, and plant life. f. Systemic attack on the rights of a free people to freedom of speech and press by barring access to news media and threatening citizens who speak to news media. Each proved by British Petroleum's failure to provide adequate safeguards, a corporate culture of disregarding safety procedures and emergency protocols, and grossly negligent and inadequate attempts to stop toxic poisons from affecting humanity. With further proof of refusing to accept and implement proven methods of limiting spread of poisons and toxins and no attempt to clean up or limit damages done from day one of so-called accidental wellhead failure. 
Please now go to part 3 of 3.